already have a lot going on, I think, this year. Um, next to an EP that I put out with, um, with a local MC uh, from Belgium called Nag. Um, I also put out a Serato record recently. Um, it was called um, My Friends Make Music Too. So it's a kind of beats from me, but also collabo with other people like Bad Bad Not Good and Henry Wu and Monopoly from Brain Feeder and among others. And um, so that came out recently. I also put out a double compilation of the the best rappers in the country right now in Belgium. I also have a compilation out, which um, which is a double CD and double vinyl with um, all the best rappers from my country, but who also happen to be very uh, famous in France right now. Um, so that's one thing that that, uh, that came out recently through my radio station, Studio Brussels. I, um, I just finished a compilation that's coming out in September, which um, regroups all the young jazz talents from my country. And then after that, I'll probably have a few more compilations coming. I don't know, I like compilations, I don't know why. I like to, maybe that's my job, to just, just show people like, yo, this is a collection of things I think you should know about. So I really like compilations more than my own productions or more than, I don't know. So I have a few things coming. Also, I am a curator, yes. I curate for a few festivals, I curate for my own nights. Uh, I help curating a stage uh, at the Dower Festival that we do every year since uh, 30 years. Uh, it's in July, um, it's 250,000 people. It's um, a whole day, it's like three, four days of um, yeah, great music, very alternative. It's known for being a very alternative festival. And um, this year, my stage has acts like Denzel Curry, um, Mick Jenkins, Robert Glasper, uh, Nati Peluso, Princess Nokia, like cool stuff. Looking forward to that. We also have Action Bronson, Tyler, the creator, Bad Bad Not Good. Well, I mean, enough, enough for you to come, man. You should come. I would say Taro and Masaya and Mitsu are just very good friends and I've been in the studio with them, but just most of the time to chill and not really work with them because um, they all have a very busy schedule and they have albums lined up all the time. So especially for um, a Groove Man spot and Mid to the Beats, they always have things lined up. They just put out another album of instrumentals recently. Um, let's say they are like the, the they are the guys that kind of in Japan, we're like a foundation of, of the whole beat scene and a whole movement of um, mixing music and sports, basically, because most of them do also a sport next to the music. Most of them do uh, wall climbing. <laughs> There's actually a jazzy sports shop in Morioka in uh, northern Japan, which is a record, sh record shop and a climbing wall center. I would say that Worldwide FM, where we all work, I mean, Giles and, and, and me, that station is definitely a station to, to listen to, to know about new music, to see crazy DJ sets and, and live performances. Like, I mean, if you think about it, we, we have people like Louis Vega from Masters at Work that have a regular show on there. We have people like Motor City Drum Ensemble. Danilo, who has a regular show on it. So all these guys who are known being great DJs and producers have their own show on the station. So I would say that if there's one thing you definitely need to check out and to, to stay on point of, of everything music-wise is um, Worldwide FM, based out of London. But more than that, I mean, I think the guys here in Chicago, International Anthem, Soon we'll have also a show on Worldwide FM every two or three months. So we try to to have our regulars on the station and then have satellite radio shows like mine as well, Brussels and Paris has one and, and other cities have one. So we're trying to cover a lot of different cities. Los Angeles has one. Uh, but we, we had a Worldwide FM uh, hub for some time. I don't, I don't think we have it right now.